good afternoon my people welcome back to our channel we are here again with another mind-blowing information i told you that we must have to defend our land indigenous people should defend their ancestral land and it's happening now in kaduna yes they have knocked edufai say you're a criminal you don't want us to defend our land you want fulani to take over our land he said lie lie we the indigenous people of kaduna must defend our land let me give you the details of this very news and you will be happy that at least people are aware of what fulani is about to do the atiap community development association acda in kaduna state has called a former governor of the state nasa erufai over the purported proscription of the association the group said it will take all lawful and legal steps to protect their lands and rights of their people from the intruders. In a statement signed by the national president of the association, Samuel Ache, described the pronouncement of prescription by the former governor as illegal and of no effect. The group said ACDA was initially registered as a corporate trustee with the Corporate Affairs Commission, Abuja, in the name of Kataf Youth Development Association on 4th of October, 1989 with registration number 5562 it noted that the name was later changed to atiap community development association and registered on 27th of january 2010 with registration number aca 11 number 36929 respectively ACDA has branches in all the states and federal capital territory in Nigeria and diaspora. The statement noted that ACDA had never engaged in any unlawful activities, even in the face of provocation and attacks, nor received any notice or complaints of any unlawful activities from the former Kaduna state government or any quarters whatsoever that would, would have warranted any caution not to talk of prescription. ACDA stressed that the former governor did not follow the due process in his desperate attempt to prescribe the association, which made the purported prescription illegal. The statement reads in part, ACDA has not been served with any notice or, instru instrument, or instrument prescribing it. Our information of the purported prescription was gotten from the social media. Members of the ACDA have the fundamental right to fair hearing, association, hold and propagate opinion, among others, as enshrined in the Constitution of Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999. As amended, the UN, the United Nations Declaration of Human Rights and the African Charter on Human and People's Rights. The leadership of the ACDA shall take all lawful and legal steps to protect their rights. Members should therefore remain calm and law-abiding as we remain resolute in our resolve to protect our land and the people from anybody who thinks they can come from nowhere and take our land. To our Hausa brothers in Zangon, Kataf town, we urge you to reject those agenda, those agent provocators based in Kaduna and Abuja who are always trying to knock our heads while they remain safely behind their walled mansions in the cities. We have always engaged in dialogue in solving our challenges until such divisive forces interfere to use force or government fiat to disrupt our peaceful relation. We urge the peace-loving people in Zangan Kataf town to engage our embrace dialogue and eschew violence. The Asa community of Zangan Kataf town should join the peace-loving Atiap to remove all the criminals in their midst in order to return to the peace that we had enjoyed before the violent group with the complicity of the former government set out to destroy the peace we had all worked so hard to build and sustain. The leadership of ACDA shall take all lawful and legal steps to protect these rights. 
Members should therefore remain calm and law-abiding as we remain resolute in our resolve to protect our land and people from anybody who thinks they can come from nowhere and take our land. The statement therefore called on the new governor, Senator Obasani, to put an end to the incessant killings and, in and crisis in Etiap land and southern Kaduna. Wow, this is very, very serious. And this is exactly what Mazinam de Kano helped us to do. And this is exactly what Mazinam de Kano opened every dictum and Harry's eye in Nigeria. That is the crime he committed. That indigenous people should not be chased out of their ancestral land. They have the right to defend themselves and it is their right, inalienable right of defense, self-defense. That is what it's called. And then, these people are from nowhere. Fulani is precisely. When you are hearing people from nowhere, know that we are talking about Fulani. Yes. And uh, which Erufai is one of them. Buhari, one of them. All the people you are seeing in Asorok, they are Fulani tribe people. And they are the ones that want their agents of darkness to kill and maim and destroy indigenous people and take over their lands. Check me. Check out what is happening today. It's all about internal displaced persons. People that originally were in, on that land, they will not be chased out to another man's land and then they will build something like hall, just hall like that. For them, all of them, men, women, children, all of them will just be refugees all of a sudden in Nigeria, in their ancestral land. I tell you, this is what is happening. Uncountable refugees. Uncountable internally displaced person. That is what we are seeing. Well, it's good. Thank God that this group is coming out. And thank God that Erufai is out because that one is a vampire. Like he, he likes blood letting. He likes, uh, you know, bulldozing churches. Let them come down. That is full organization agenda. Is well loaded on his head. And now power is no longer in his hand. But he wants to stay behind to be controlling to be leading out in the killings that has been going on. And the people of this region, they say, no, enough. You can't prescribe us because that's exactly how they prescribed IPOP in Nigeria. And you know what? IPOP is not a, a, a criminal group. It's an indigenous group, yes, and they prescribed indigenous people. And that, that is why they are killing Igbo youths as if they are criminals. Give dog a bad name and kill the dog. That's exactly what is playing out in Nigerian politics. I want you to make it go viral. Let us share it to Mahi. Let us share it to Ohanez and Debo. Share it wide and viral so that they will know that other groups are waking up. They should support what ESN is doing. They should support the indigenous guys that volunteer to defend our land. These are the warriors we have. These are our heroes. These are the people that are trying to, you know, douse the tension that Fulani are, are trying to put under each and every one of us so as to make us to run away from our ancestral land. That's the news, my dear people. Thank you very much for your time on this very channel. Never will it be taken for granted. God bless you.